help my lord. All right, this is Mark in 5HZR. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great. I'm glad you have you out here at the airport. Thank you. So could you show us what you guys got going on out here? I'd be happy to. This is the Norman Emergency uh, Management uh, area, and we've got amateur radio folks uh, stacked throughout this whole area. Here on the, on the left end, is a uh, loop antenna that's hooked up to the little tiny radio that's behind the monitor, if you want to see it. Right. See it? The little tiny ICOM 705. Very cool. Uh, a brand new radio for us, and uh, it's hooked up to a computer, and that is right now transmitting WinLink, so we can transmit emails to and from the facility without benefit of any uh, internet connection. So if we've got uh, messages that need to get out, uh, we can send emails out to anybody, or we can hit the uh, amateur radio national traffic system um, through the NTS piece out of that. That's very cool. Is that transmitting as well, or just? It is. It is when your hair, when your beard kind of goes up a little bit, that means it's transmitting. I got it. Got yeah, it. Yeah, got yeah. it. No, okay, it is. Very cool. It will be transmitting. It's only about 10 watts. Very cool. Uh, it, the nice thing about these kind of signals is low power is just the, the order of the day. So 10 watts will get you anywhere. Uh, you know, you're talking battery operated everything, and, and uh, life is good no matter where the power situation. So for emergency, that's what we're pushing today on this piece of it. Uh, down. Uh, well, one of the one of them is a phone, which just looks like a normal telephone. That one's hooked up as. Uh, uh, amateur radio's ham shack hotline so it's set up to uh, talk to amateur radio operators all over the world via voice over IP it's actually connected in through a Arden amateur radio emergency data network system so it will be it's pulling its data off of that right now we're listening to the uh, BBC oh that's uh, very cool there's a uh, channel on there that will broadcast BBC I'll all have day. to look more into that put more in the video something like that that's pretty yeah, interesting no that was, that's a very a very neat thing uh, we We've had good luck with it. Um, in addition, we've got uh, a flight tracker system. That's a flight tracker system that is uh, uh, on a tower just uh, east west of the airport. And it's coming to us via our amateur radio emergency data network. And it sends the data out to flight aware. So while you can see all these flights coming in and out. Very useful. Very cool. Very cool. And the ones that are that are uh, oh, tagged so you can't see them on the internet see locally so we just saw Toby Keith head up for the game today. Oh, that's cool, very <laughs> he cool. He just took off out of here a few minutes. Um, in addition, step back out of the way. In addition, we got a lot of emergency preparedness goodies and our chief emergency preparedness guy, Lee, W5HLG, has some of his tactical uh, devices out here, his go bags. I think this is a new one you're building, right? Lee? Yeah, new go vest. You know, I can run two radios on it and then keep my medical supplies as well. And this is a go bag. Uh, and it's good for three days worth of uh, uh, food, water, and everything else that you might need. Very cool. That's great. And then over here, the last part is a go box. And that is a dual band radio that will also do what's called cross band repeater. And up ahead is an uh, Ed Vaughn it's a J-Pole antenna that's going. And uh, it's also a game antenna. So, with all this, and by the way, this is solar powered. Good to know. So yeah. It, uh, it is keeping the, the battery charged strictly by using the sun. That's great. Well, thank you. You bet. I need to get back flying for the airline so I can afford all these goodies again. <laughs> Teaching school, it's a little more of a challenge. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> So thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.